<laughs> they didn't have that when you were James Young drove to Little River from his hometown in Gainesville, Georgia, to welcome home his brother from Afghanistan. Well, it's a camaraderie that, that only veterans can experience, uh, whether I know these men or not. More than 20 fellow Vietnam veterans gathered with Young this afternoon for the welcome home, and it brought back a flood of memories. There's some good times I remember and some bad times I remember. Yeah. But there's other memories Young has chosen to forget. It's been a long time since we were over there, and I, I don't dwell on the past too much, you know. But one of the days many of the veterans can never forget is the day they came home, often to a not so gracious welcome. It was not good. There was so many, you know, people were spit on, we were called all kinds of names. As a nation, most of the people uh, really wasn't in favor of the war, so they, we didn't get a very well warm welcome. So they take pride in making sure those who followed them never feel as they did. That's one thing I can offer from experience. And as the men marched down to surprise Young's brother, they learned the surprise was for them. Thank you very much. Thank you. you see, this day wasn't a day to honor an Afghanistan vet. This day was to honor them. It was a day many have yet to receive. A proper welcome home and a thanks for their service. I hope this, they've gotten some closure from it. Uh, it's been a long time coming. Uh, myself, I got closure a long time ago. But uh, I know a lot of them didn't. And it's now a day these veterans will find it hard to forget, no matter how painful the memories that brought them together. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. And Little River Ryan Nockhan, News Channel 15.